Welcome to another Man of War Assault Squad commentary. Beta. Assault Squad Beta, it should be. Otherwise, I don't get to upload these videos. And today I will be playing a 3 vs. 3 on uh, Farmstead, I believe this, With only Cocksmith and Stick Rivets this time. Our opponents will be Tick, Evangelev, and Mr. Mr. Blay51. I'm just waiting for the screen to get ready to play. And uh, today I will be using some funny tactics. I'm just playing for fun this game, since our opponents aren't as good as we are. That perhaps is a spoiler alert for you. But then never nevertheless, I will show you some good startups to win a battle. And now I'm just sandbagging my point so I can defend it better. At the same time I'm capturing the point as I'm building the sandbags. So it's time efficient. And here I'm supporting the center. An extra MG in the center can be crucial in the game. And I'm hiding some SMG guys at the front in case they they haven't uh, been that far f quick to attack. So my guys can make it there without getting killed just yet. And their purpose is to kill any tank that lurks in the enemy line. <coughs> And now I'm uh, spreading out my guys so I can cover the whole front. Since the British have saboteurs, then that can easily sneak past me. But not now, but if I haven't done that. And that's a bitch if you use a tank to a saboteur. And now I'm running my guy uh, all over the place. <laughs> he actually managed to get out that nade. Kill nothing, I believe. No. I kill something? Yeah, no. I didn't kill anything. Cocksmith stole my kill. And now I'm just chilling. Thinking of what to do since no one's putting pressure on me. And if you noticed on the main map, uh, my opponent haven't even captured his position or capture area. So now I'm just chilling thinking of what to buy. So I buy a pack 38 which is a 50 millimeter <coughs> 50 millimeter anti-tank gun. And uh, it will prove a disappointment. From my experience today, I can't recommend the pack. I don't remem remember what it cost, but uh, it wasn't worth it either way. It's quite useless. And here you see some nice direct control of my anti tank gun. Real nice. I don't really understand what that poke was, but. Uh, Never mind. Nothing important. I know that. And in the center you can see an uh, Tetrach. Tetrach. I don't know what how to pronounce it. And I'm setting up my AT gun so he both can support my side and my ally side. You should always try to find those positions, but he shouldn't be too exposed. And now a uh, crusader, I believe it is, 
I was driven into the center and as you can see my pack has absolutely no effect on it except it retreats <coughs> now I'm positioning it again so it can fire on that same crusader again since in this game I believed I could destroy that crusader you should always <coughs> reposition your um, anti-tank guns so they won't get taken out that easy by a lurking tank from my side perhaps and now I'm just and you saw Cromwell there which is quite a good tank for 400 credits or whatever which I said perhaps in my last video I'm taking it again and yet again I'm trying to fire at it and kill it if you watch the minimap my uh, our left flank which I believe is Cocksmith he has uh, captured this area I'm very good of him I think I usually don't since I'm I've gotten tired of it <laughs> in these in these cases you should uh, always attack if you're not put if you're someone if you're not being put pressure on you should put pressure on them you will see why soon or later no sorry that's that was another game I can tell you what happened at least uh, our opponent got uh, what's it called? Centurion I believe it was the most expensive tank in the British arsenal and uh, it proved quite annoying but I got a uh, jacked panther in turn since I haven't bought anything so I could keep it away from uh, doing too much damage never kill it though and here my Friends, the Gravitz is supporting my shooting of this AT gun with a Hetzer. We will both prove ineffective. As usual, um, we don't have the luck with us. For some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's something they programmed with a certain amount of games played. You get no luck. No lucky hits. And uh, the Cromwell manage manages to uh, destroy the Hetzer's main gun. Not destroy, damage is the correct word. But really, it's destroyed in real life. People don't run around with extra guns like that. And now the center enemy has gotten brave or something, I don't know. He's uh, pushing forward, which is always a nice thing, nice thing to see. Yeah, what? I don't know if I got any uh, noob. Not noob, uh, new player. What's it called? Uh, new player help, let's call it that uh, except for uh, repositioning your AT guns you will see that in the extreme uh, examples later in this game, that's why I chose to upload this <coughs> in a tight game you uh, <laughs> perhaps you won't relocate your gun as much as I did since you won't, uh, I mean the gun that I will get since uh, I lost track of my side and here's a little sneak peek on uh, Cocksmith's side where he's assaulting and the sneak peek of the Cromwell standing behind a tree and uh, I can tell you that on the bottom left, next to the 
names and pictures of folders there's a blue and red guy if you push that in you will see units behind cover as the Cromwell is now I can see him but the trees in the way so I see his silhouette still easy makes it easier to spot infantry and now 